Hi, thanks for joining my quick demo of the Sage Acumen tool for doing GL journal entries. For those of you that are familiar with Sage 300, this is the regular journal entry screen, which works great for small things, but if you're trying to import, the import templates are difficult at best to work with, lots of tabs, lots of columns, lots of confusion. As a result, we built some tools that are Excel-based that make monthly closing go faster because we can bring in lots of stuff at once, we can set up templates, we can do multiple companies. Um, it's just really quick for, for anything that's kind of recurring or anything that's sort of big that you're looking to get into Sage. So let me go ahead and show you what my tool looks like. So if you go into Excel, it looks like this. We've got finders so you can look up with the magnifying glass. You can say, this is my company, it's Excel. So I can you know, copy and paste the way that I would in Excel normally. I can say today is 7.30, I can copy paste. If I know what a source entry is and I know my amount, I can just go ahead and put it in. Same with my GL accounts. So imagine I'm doing some sort of reclass entry here and this is gonna be my, my batch description, which is reclass revenue and I'm going to say, I don't know, we're going to take a thousand dollars and put it there and take it out of this amount over here. Whoops. One too many zeros. And once that looks good, I'm going to go ahead and hit the import button and it's going to import it into Sage and it's going to make my journal entry. I can even hop over to my Sage and I can see that this journal entry is now in Sage. Um, this is great for one quick entry, but really where it has a lot of value is if you're trying to set up and a, and a template, so I'm going to say this is my template, and let me just kind of copy over some information that I already have set up. So if you can imagine with me for a moment that we're doing a, a payroll accrual, it's something that you do every month. So I've got my payroll data, and I'm going to say what's my weekly amount, what's my daily amount, and then this is my accrual amount, and I'm going to say this equals divided by 52, and then I'm going to find my week by 7, and then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to multiply it by the number of days that are carried over in the month and I'm going to hit F4 and then I'm going to go ahead and drop these down and then from here I can make formulas back to my tool so rather than this being a reclass this is going to be a payroll accrual and it's uh, going to auto reverse right we're going to bring that out at the end of next month the dates are great and that's fine and I'm going to say well actually my accounts are probably going to be a little different I'm going to do 20 um, 46 and then let me go ahead and look up my employee expense account so this contains the expense and i'm going to use this one here and i can start to make a formula that points you know at the employee's name and so i'm going to copy that down and then i'm going to go ahead and make a debit to the accrual amount that over there and then I can copy the whole thing down and then actually I probably want to change the, the line right I probably want to go over and I get the next person in the line and then this is going to equal Paul's amount and then even if I wanted this employee if Paul was in a different company than it, the job was in, I can actually go and do more than one company at the same time. I'm going to copy this down and I'm going to go ahead and say import. Oh, and it tells me I have a problem, something with my cells. And when there's a problem, it says it adds a comment to the cell. So I can see this account was valid in my first company, but in my second company, it's not. And I can think I can just do this account here, which will be a valid account. And I'll go ahead and say import. It says my data is valid. I'm going ahead and import. And very quickly you can see it's posted. I've made two batches, one in each company for these different amounts and I'm done with my entry. Now next month comes, I can save this and I can open this up, but you know, next month is a different date. So I'm gonna change this to 831 and the accrual is slightly different number of days. So we'll say three and my math will all recalculate and my journal entry amount changes and I go ahead and click on import and I finish the next month as well. So this is one of the examples of what you can do with an Acumen tool to save a lot of time, particularly at month end close. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, please contact us at the information on the screen. Thanks, bye.